Hello Chinese phone lovers. Uh, this is a review of the Doogie Mix 2. Um, I don't normally do reviews of anything as you can probably see by my channel but um, basically uh, I can't find any reviews of this phone anywhere really. I've found about three on uh, YouTube um, and uh, even if one person gets benefit of me uh, reviewing this product and just seeing what it's like and how it is um, then all good that's all I really care about um, basically I bought it from um, Banggood for uh, 150 pounds um, it took about two weeks to come here uh, no custom duty and um, it was, it was a good deal. Basically, I've, I'm coming from a, a Redmi Note 4, um, which has been a good phone. Um, I only had it about three months before, unfortunately, it got dropped and broke. So, um, this was the next phone in the kind of uh, price range that I was looking at, and uh, obviously, it's quite a um, it's a bigger screen than the, the Redmi Note 4, so it's a bit of an upgrade, but I think it comes at a slight cost, which I uh, can find out already by just handling the box. So, either way, let's go. Um, so, nice box. Uh, quite a, a luxurious feel to it. Um, just the main details on there. This is the uh, blue version. There is also a gold and a black. Uh, but they weren't in stock when I ordered, and uh, I think they're coming into stock any time now at Banggood. So um, they'll be good to uh, be good to see what they look like if anyone gets one of those. So sorry about that. If, uh, I've just thrown the box around, so it has moved the the phone around in the box. Um, but this is what we're going to get. So we've got the phone, and let's see what else we get in the box. Okay, so um, I have seen another review on this phone, so I've seen what comes in the box already, but it is uh, apparently quite a good um, selection of stuff, uh, but most Chinese phones do come with um, with the screen protectors and the case, which is quite a nice case. Um, unfortunately, it's not the same colour as the phone, which is probably a downer. It would be nice if the colour matched. And there is a bit of a mark on there, which I think is just superficial. Um, the thing, obviously, is the phone is quite a big phone already, so maybe uh, the case will just make it that slightly much bit bigger. But it depends whether you want to um, protect the phone in some way. I know you can obviously get third-party um, uh, cases uh, from. Um, China, so maybe might be worth getting one of those that are colour matching to your phone. But um, like I said, they just do make the phone slightly too big for me, but maybe not for other people. Uh, so we have a, um, a headphone jack for the a USB Type C, as the phone does not come with a headphone jack. Um, but I think all smartphones, all, all Chinese smartphones that don't come with a headphone jack are, uh, are giving these away at the moment, so even if it didn't, you'd probably get one for a, a quid, but um, it's always nice for them to include. Uh, oh, right, okay. So it does come with an adapter as well, uh, which is which is all good. Uh, the standard, standard adapter. And it doesn't come with a doesn't come with a UK plug, which is always good of them. So we've only got a uh, European plug on there, so that will need an adapter. Uh, this is if no one can pin my uh, accent. This is UK, so obviously not a uh, not a UK plug with this. So we've got the warranty information and a normal screen protector. Someone did tell me it did come with a screen protector already on it so um, there might not be much point in putting another protector on there, depends what 
quality is on there already, I guess. And then obviously you get the SIM tray adapter. Okay, so that's all apart. You can see the phone. This is, like I say, this is the blue version. It's called Ocean Blue, officially. It does feel good in the hand. The one issue I have already with it is, unfortunately, its weight. It is quite a heavy phone. Coming from a Redmi Note 4, which was around 170 grams, this is apparently around 215 grams. So, it might not be the easiest to um, start off with, but hopefully, <coughs> given time, um, the weight won't be an issue. I can tell already the colours, the blue is, is a really nice blue, um, well put together, good feel in the hand, which you obviously get with the weighty phones, they do feel, they do feel like they've got a lot of innards, but you just have to get around that weight issue. So on top of the phone, obviously just the SIM tray, some nice edges to the volume rockers, it's not a rocker, it's actual buttons. The on-off button. Nothing on the left. And on the bottom we have two speakers, which uh, I think only one actually does the job of uh, execution of speaking. So, and then you've got USB Type-C there. Uh, on the front, you have two, US, uh, two uh, cameras on the front and two cameras on the back. Um, I have heard from a couple of reviews now that one is a fake camera but I'll be um, looking into that and reporting back with if it actually is. Yeah, the, the, metal, the, the metallic look on the back is I really like that, that is pretty nice. I hope the, uh, the camera picks this up it's, it's mirror basically, you can see complete reflections. Uh, and on the front, there is a screen protector on here already, I can see that already. Uh, it doesn't seem to cover all of the screen for some reason. That's, a, that's an odd one. Um, but it's a nice, nice looker. Um, the, the Bezel-less design, they call it bezel-less, but I don't think it's quite up to that standard. Um, the screen does look like it does look like it goes to the edge, but there is still definitely a bezel on there. Okay, let's turn it up. One thing to note with this phone, it is um, it has band 20, so in the UK uh, it should work on all the, the networks. Uh, that's one thing I was looking in for phones from uh, from China. There is there's quite a few of the new even Redmi phones coming out with no band 20, which is obviously important for us um, on, on many networks. And three, which I use, uh, has um, band 20 as a as an important uh, band. So. It's it's quite big to me to have that as for on a phone, so this this definitely has that. Okay, so I think I'll leave this here. Um, obviously, <coughs> the software has been seen in other sites, so I won't go into the software. I may do the camera review. Well, I will do the camera review at some point, um, but um, it. Uh, I was just trying to look on the design and build quality standpoint first. Um, like I said, this has been my first review of uh, uh, any phone, so um, don't hate, just uh, if it helps anyone, that's all good. 
Um, but I will try and uh, do a follow up video in a couple of days when I've used it and the camera review. Cheers guys, bye. Oh.